exciting video, and in this video, I'm going to be playing an anime girl fighting game. The title of this game is actually, like, really long, and I knew that if I put the title of the game in the title, no one would know what I was talking about. But the easiest way to summarize it is that it's an anime girl fighting game, and there are a ton of playable characters. I haven't played any of these characters before. I've actually never played this game before, uh, but let's check it out. Uh, so we got Kanyu. I don't, I don't know how to say any of these names. Uh, Sonkin. Soso. Kakotan. Choyoyu. Son Shoko. Chohi. Ryofu. Godzilla said, what the shit is this game? This is an anime girl fighting game. Uh, it's a game that I got for Christmas. I haven't played it yet. This is going to be my first time playing it. Uh, Cho'un Kane or Kanai. Kakoen. I don't know how to say any of these names. Uh, Gakushin. Shutai. And Bacho. Uh, so I'm just going to start with the first person in the list and I guess work my way through. Uh, but this is going to be my first playthrough of this game. I'm going to play through the arcade mode. Oh, and you get an assist. So they're also assist characters. Uh, Shokatsuyoryu create a huge tornado to blow the opponent away. Uses up one tactics bar. Okay, quarter circle D. I don't know what the fuck D is. I imagine it's like A, B, C, D or something. Or maybe it's A, B, C, D. That's probably it. Um, Hoto. Blind and immobilize the opponent with unyielding chains. Oh, bind. I thought it said blind. I was like, how the fuck does that work? How do you blind your opponent? Uh, Jun Iku. Place a trap on the ground to immobilize the opponent. Uh, Tei Iku. Uh, Hoke suddenly appears and call lightning to stun the opponent. Oh, cool. They actually, like, show up for it. Uh, Shugi. Create a flame pillar in front of the opponent to suppress their movement. Okay, what's this one? Uh, Ryomo. Uh, various weapons hidden in the sleeves are used to support the master. Oh, am I- do they give me weapons? That sounds cool. Uh, Kaku. Uh, conjure a pillar of ice to suppress your opponent's attacks. So it's like a block. So it's kind of like the opposite of the other person's. And then, uh, Chinkiyu. Appear suddenly from mid-air and obstructs your opponent. Let's see. I guess I want to bind the opponent with chains with Hoto. That sounds cool. Well, let's hop into it. Okay. <laughs> So the main character wants to go on a trip. Okay. So they made friends or whatever. They want to go on a trip again. Okay, they're going on a trip. They're like, you shouldn't go on a trip. They're like, why not go on a trip? Let's see. Uh, she'll be alone if they go on the trip. Um, let's see. Oh, she's like, if you want to go on the trip, you gotta fight me first, because it's a fighting game, so they have to have an excuse to fight. Cool. Wait, what? She has the same assist as me. Okay. Let's go in for the fight. Also, hold on, the names of these characters aren't their real name? That's kind of interesting. So I've never played this before. Let's see how it plays. So that's like an overhead. That also looks like an overhead. So that's the chain he's got. You can kick a lot. I 
haven't figured out how you combo with this girl. A lot of times the first match is easy, so I'm not too surprised that that wasn't that like, difficult. I just realized that the sprites are like 3D. Like they're clearly like 3D models on like a drawn background. So circle is grab unless you do it with a quarter circle, in which then it's your assist. a better understanding of like how this plays. Excuse me. You have to wait through these like screens a good bit. I realized. Okay, so then it's like I get to go on the trip because I kicked her ass. Uh, let's see. I'll get you some souvenirs while on the trip. Cool. What? What? Why is this fight not explained, but the last fight was? I didn't expect them to look like 3D models. They look like very obviously like 3D models on top of a drawing. I finally got the chain move to land. So that's good. I need to figure out how I can like, chain her stuff back. That's what I'm gonna do. I never got to see who her assist person was. I don't know, I think the character that I picked isn't too interesting. She shoots fireballs, and she uses a spear, but I feel like I would prefer a cooler weapon than like the big spear. Is she using chakrams? Chakrams are pretty cool. That is the thing. Oh shit. She looks pretty cool actually. Like I like... Ah oh, fuck, is she gonna juggle me? Uh, when I first saw this game, they have like a trailer where someone does a combo that goes like across the screen and like knocks the person into like the wall on the other side of the screen. And then they were able to pick them up and knock them back. To the other side of the screen. Also, what was that? Like, what movement was that? Uh, I did something that was like a weird, like, jump attack. That was the grab. Uh, chain her up. So. 
It's weird that at the beginning of the game, they have this long, like, story bit where it's like, ah, oh, you can't go on your trip because I'll miss you, so you have to fight me. There's, like, this big thing about that, and then all the rest of the fights are just, like, you're fighting people, and there's no explanation. What's that, like, launch kick? Like, what's the main input for the launch kick? Oh, fuck. Because if I can figure out how to do that launch kick, then I could actually... What the fuck is that at the bottom of the bar? There was, like... Uh, like directional inputs at the bottom of the screen. I didn't know what that was. What is that launch kit? Every time I've done it, I've always like just done it by accident. But it seems useful because this is definitely a game where I think you can like air combo, and I just don't know how you're supposed to. That was cool. I did that by accident. It said the combo was sexy. The game's like, I can do that too. Bitch. Chain around. Bondage. Bondage be dead. Let's see. So I think I did that super by uh, doing quarter circle in O and X, more or less at the same time. But that was actually accidental. I was trying to do quarter circle circle, and my thumb fucking hit X when I was just trying to hit circle. So I accidentally learned how to super. Ouch. There we go. Heavy attack in the grab is like very effective in this game. Like if you land the heavy it more or less guarantees that you'll get the grab. What's that? What is it doing? It seemed like the game was about to go ham on that combo. I'm still not entirely sure what I did in order to get my super off where I made the big one. Ooh, there's just a straight up archer in this game. I'm probably gonna like the archer. When you land attacks, it'll want you to do like a directional sequence. But I think the directional sequence is like you hit your opponent with like a low thing, and then you launch them up, and then you like knock them forward or something. I think is what it is. It's crazy that you can do the heavy guys. Oh shit! I was not safe. Uh, I tried to do my chains to finish her off. I should have stayed on the defensive bow. Oh, is that not a bow? I thought she was holding a bow. But it's just like a magic staff. Still cool. Ooh, she like dodged it. 
Oh, it's forward heavy is the kick. And you can chain that into the door. How do you do the launch kick? I've only ever done it by accident. Is that it? Is it like up in the triangle? Or is it up in the X? I understand why I thought it was a okay. Because of how she uses it. Oh, she hit me with her like three with everybody. Oh my god. Oh crap, I got a wall bounce. I didn't expect it. Because I've never gotten a wall bounce before. Oh no. Okay, so we took our first L. Oh, she holds an arrow. That's why I was like, she's using a bow. Yeah, continue. Okay. Let's finish up her story. Her, so her real name is Shuron? Fundamentals. I summoned the chains while it was too late, plus I guess the chains weren't going to beat her anyway. See, when you have characters who have stuff like a green dragon blade or whatever, you'd feel like the story would like try and explain stuff like that. Like, I don't know who everybody is. So she has a sight. Oh, and she like floats in this guy.
For Dugan's that what's this game called? Uh, it has like a really long name that I don't remember off the top of my head. Uh, it's like Koehime Anbu or something. Like the, none of the name is English. What's the difference between those two guys? Like, I have the same attack that I can do with, uh, like, medium and heavy, and I don't know what the difference is. Let's keep it going. But yo, Rip Dukin, how's your day to day? Give me a go. Ah! Cool. How's your day to day? Do you have any questions for your boy, India? Any discussion topics you'd like to talk about on the stream? I'm not trying to use her move, I'm trying to like, use my super. But I don't know how to do my super. I know how to do the chain. I guess I shouldn't be fucking around too hard to get that. Oh, I'm not dead. I'm dead now. Yeah. Rip me. Rubigan said it's called Kohime Onbu. Something like that. Yeah. Next time I'll defeat you in the bedroom. What does that even mean? There's like a I, I think, after the H. It's like Koihime Anbu. And then there are more words after that. Can I not do the projectile in the air? So that's why I kept trying to do, like I kept jumping and trying to see if I could shoot it downward. I hadn't tried that. But I think that answer is no, I can't do that. She did cross me up Okay, you can surprisingly use your forward heavy kick a lot more in a row than I thought you could. So you can like stun someone with the heavy kick and then keep punishing them with the heavy kick. Ooh. 
Rick Dukin said, uh, how'd your day go? Oh, my day's been really fantastic, Joel. Well, thank you for asking. How's your day today? Hope you're having a happy fun day so far. Oh my goodness. Uh, Rick Dukin said, I hope it went well. It did. Thank you for asking. How's your day today? I hope that you're having a happy fun day today. What are your plans for today? Um, after I play this game for a bit, I'm going to do some AI Dungeon 2. Uh, I'm planning on going to bed around like 3 something in the morning and then waking up tomorrow uh, closer to the afternoon. Jump in. Yep. Oops. Oh, I did not do that. I did not do that. Stand up. Oh, boy. my dad, I think, tried to tell me about AI Dungeon, uh, but I didn't notice that dad had talked about it, uh, because he had, like, sent me messages that I hadn't read about it, um, but I follow, uh, r slash media synthesis on Reddit, or at least when I pay attention to Reddit, I look at r slash media synthesis, and they were talking about AI Dungeon 2, and I was like, yo, that concept sounds too good to be true if it's really, like, a game that you can play where you can do anything and say anything. So then I checked it out, and then it just is a game where you can do anything and say anything. And I was like, whoa, this is like next level shit. Uh, but I started playing AI Dungeon 2 back when it was on like a Google Colab notebook, uh, which is like essentially where you like see that it's code that you're running, and you had to like wait for all these like packages, that packages to load before you could play it and stuff. Uh, yo, Cowboy, one more thing to have you, how did you do it? Do you have any questions for your board? And do you have any discussion topics you'd like to talk about? On the screen. Ooh. So Cowboy's repeatedly going, Kakura, Kakura, and she's a golden thing. Gosh, uh, I'm an asshole. Okay, I need to step my game up. Also, their eye patch is a butterfly. I'm guessing they're a pirate? I'm 
also still trying to figure out how you super. Which I still haven't figured out how to do. See, that's just the normal like, chain attack. I want to learn how to super. Also. Deadass. Revugan said, also, when you make a scenario, how do you make it uh, to where you and clock a number for a prompt? How do you make it to where you and clock a number? What does that mean? Like, I I'm trying to figure out, like, what you need to say. Where you can, I imagine he's trying to say where you can. I don't know what he means by clock a number. Could you rephrase that question, Rebukin? I just haven't been able to figure out like, what he meant. Okay. Let's try not to die. Cowboy said, Nick, did you see my S? Don't know what that means either, Cowboy. And he said, my Discord team. I do not believe I have. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I can't believe you let her do that to you. We were so close, dude. She has an empty ass health bar. Radugan said, how do you make it to where you can click a number to make a pump? Oh, I know what you're talking about. Okay, so what you have to do is you click a scenario. Oh, crap. Click create a scenario. And then when you uh, do create a scenario, they'll give you an option for you to create additional optional scenarios for people to play through. I'm gonna die this time around, but I'm not paying any fucking attention to what's going on. Um, but go to create a scenario in my stuff, and you'll figure out how to do it. There'll be like plus signs that'll let you create like sub scenarios inside of your scenario. Oh god. Okay. I'm mean, gonna have to go back to character select if I can pick the same bitch so I can jump back into the fight. Because you can't just rematch with the same person. The Sword of Gi. Gi's Sword. Okay. I don't have to stick with Koto. Um. Uh... Oh, that's the lightning thing. I've yet to see the flame pillar one used by anybody. I've seen, like, the other characters have the flame pillar assist, but I haven't seen them, like, utilize the flame pillar assist. Flame pillar assist has insane to Okay, we're gonna go on the offensive. I'm tired of this bitch just hitting me in the fucking face. Your dude said thank you. No problem. Ow. Oh, it's a very quick attack. I guess what, bitch? I hit the wrong button. Oh no. I was gonna do the flame killer to try and kill her when I should have just hit her. I was gonna say, guess what, bitch, flame on. Or is the flame killer just like objectively worse than what I have? It doesn't even do that much damage either. Oh no.
We hit each other with the heavy. Damn. I keep doing that. Uh, where I try to do the quarter circle D, but I do quarter circle X instead. And you have to stick on the screen for a while. Rebdukin said, dang. No problem. I'll get her eventually. Uh, flame pillar is ass. I don't like that. Um, do 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 Maybe the wind tornado. I haven't tried that one. Cowboy said, I'm guessing you're going to sleep after this. I'm going to do some AI Dungeon 2. Some AI Dungeon 2 after this. Verdugan said, uh, I'm about to go to sleep right now uh, because I'm so tired. Okay, I hope that you sleep well, Verdugan, uh, and that you have a happy, fun day. Oops. Oops. Shouldn't have done. Ooh. Ooh, the tornado is pretty good. I like the tornado. That's actually really good. Ripjigan said, "See, I gotta go." Okay, catch you later, Ripjigan. Hope you have a happy fun night. Uh, Cowboy said, "Are you going to stream AI Dungeon?" Nope, I do not stream AI Dungeon anymore. Uh, it's because streaming on OBS is kind of a pain. Uh, OBS is what I use to stream AI Dungeon, which is different from what I use to stream PlayStation, because to stream PlayStation games, I use the built-in stream game, which is why I got a PlayStation rather than like another console. It's less about exclusives and more for uh, the built-in streaming capability. Ooh. Ooh. He got the fuck out of me. I need uh, to figure out what my get off me tool is. Gosh, she's going really fucking hard. Oh, fuck. What is this? Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, I need to figure out how I do that. <laughs> that was pretty good. Nerd Tanker said, What even is this game? The title tells you everything you need to know, Nerd Tanker. This is an anime girl fighting game. All the characters are girls, done in an anime style, and they fight. Excuse me. You already know what it is. Uh, but the actual title of this game is uh, like really long and none of it's in Nerd Tinker said, okay. Are you Nerd Tinker? How's your day today? Do you have any questions for your boy? And do you have any... This oh, discussion topics that you'd like to talk about on the stream. need to learn how to use my meter for more than just the assist. Okay. Oh, they have Z motions in this. That's interesting. Okay. And it's B plus C. So, that's... 
Wait, is that X, A, B, C, D, D? Triangle on X? Is that the fucking super move? Undertaker said, well, I'm going to be moving uh, to Montana soon. Probably at the end of the month uh, or beginning of next month. So I'm looking forward to that. Oh, ball. I hope that your move goes well. Feels just a normal game. I need to figure out what B and C are. Hold on. Middle is triangle. Yeah, so it'd be triangle. It'd be triangle and X, right? For that super move at the bottom. Quarter circle forward B and C. Is that portable forward or that? Or is it close to what you're like B and then C? So you don't put them together and do them so quickly. I actually still don't know. Answer that question. Oh, but if I die now, I'm gonna eat a flat dick, so I need to not die now. And by die now, I need this. Nerdtanker said, Does that mean I can meet you in person? What? Uh, Nerdtanker, I don't live in Montana, I live in Alabama. Uh, so I live in Rocket City, Alabama. But if you came by to Rocket City, uh, I would be down to meet you in person. Probably not during the pandemic, though. Like, if it wasn't during the pandemic and you were in town, I'd be down to, like, hang out. Most of Yo, Nerd Tanker, have you heard from Kirby? I haven't heard from Kirby. I'll see him on Discord. Uh, but I haven't talked to Kirby in a minute. Air Tanker said, clearly not during the pandemic. But I definitely would be down to hang out if it wasn't, ah, the pandemic and you happen to be in town. Also, ah, I need to figure out how to actually fight. Ooh. 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 Ah, by the way, I wasn't able to keep it going. Oh, oh shit. Oh, hit it up. Yeah. Okay, I feel like I'm getting better. Nair Tanker said, uh, I mean, I'm hoping it will be over before I move, but probably won't, LMAO. He said, I haven't really kept in touch with Kirby. Um, that's understandable. Uh, uh, Kirby's cool. It's just Kirby uh, stop appearing as often. So I just haven't heard from him for ah. So I hope he's doing alright. Nerdtanger said, uh, Kirby is mysterious. He shows up when he wants to. That's fair. Okay, so I think I'm starting to get better at this game. Master Hotel? Okay, so they're going on a trip. Let's see, I defeated a bunch of warriors. Uh, let's see, they're like, you're a good fighter or whatever. Let's see, fight against a strong opponent. You should fight against Master Rin. Okay, the strongest warrior. Is Master Rin the strongest warrior? Nair Tinker said, this game reminds me of Soul Calibur. Oh. Does that mean you're vibing with the game? Is it because everybody has, like, weapons? Okay. 
So they claim that Rin is the strongest warrior. Fuck is that weapon she's got? It looks like another spear kind of weapon, similar to what I have. Oh my gosh. Got her, Tornado. And the Nerd Taker said, yes, yeah, the weapons. He said, you know I'm gonna try something and see what happens. Be right back. Okay, see you when you get back, my dude. What the fuck? That was really weird. Oh, fuck. Don't let her fuck you up, dude. Oh my god. Fuck. So that's what happens when that actually lands. Goodness. Okay. Let's gain some ground. Ouch. Ouch again. Ah, So what does she say? 100 power strength. Nerd Tanker said, okay, I'm back. Yo, welcome back, Nerd Tanker. I'm glad that you're excited about your move. One of my friends uh, recently moved, and they weren't excited about it at all. Um, but I'm glad that you're, like, hype about your move. Nerd Tanker said, Kirby lives. Hey, I'm glad to hear that Kirby lives. I hope he's doing well. Ah, oh, I hit the wrong button. I hit the right button, but I hit it with a directional input. So it changed the effect of the button. Damn. Oh. Oh. Oh, fuck. No. Oh, yeah. Oh, damn. Okay, we can get back from that. Believe it. The way her hair sticks up makes it look like a bug's antenna. Oh, fuck. Let's see, Nerd Tanker said all I did was add him and said pineapple, uh, and got his attention, I guess. That makes sense. Um, I recently did a video, uh, where, uh, somebody on Discord said that my head looked like a pineapple, and I thought I was gonna hear from Kirby, but I never did. Impregnability is a achievement that I just got from the trophy. So is this the boss? Like, am I fighting, like, the last fight? If it is, I think I'll play arcade mode one more time, but as the girl with the bow, because I want to learn how to play the girl with the bow. 
What's my best jump then? What's your jumping? Oh, your jumping heavy seems probably okay if you time it right. Ooh, Nerd Tiger said I'm trying to get in here so you can talk to him. Oh, that'd be cool. If he's not available now, I'd just love to hear from him in general. Aw, oh, shit. Cowboy said hi. Yo, Cowboy. Welcome to the stream, Mr. Gabby. How's your day today? Do you have any questions? For your boy, do you have any discussion topics you'd like to talk about? On the stream. Yeah. Yo. Nerdtanker said, hello, cowboy. Kirby said, of course a pineapple would get my attention. Yo, Kirby. Welcome to the stream. to have you. How's your day today? Do you have any questions for you, boy? Do you have any discussion topics you'd like to talk about on the stream? Um, I just wanted to check in with you and see how you're doing, how do you? Aw, oh, crap. Uh, oh, man. I'm getting mauled. Ah. Uh. Ah. Ooh, that's my whole life. Nerd Tanker said, yay, Kirby is here. Godzilla said, Kirby is not that mysterious. What? Oh, mysterious. It, like, split up what you said. It split up what you said, and I thought you said two different words. And we all fucked up. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Yes, that was very close. That was insanely close. Goodness. Uh, Godzilla said, uh, I'm Godzilla, but with a different name, by the way. Cowboy said, I can tell. Cowboy said, Kirby, can you really eat anything? Then Kirby said, why? Then Nerd Tanker said, oh god, no. Okay. They lost the fight. They said a red hair would console them. Okay. They're talking about how, like, if you lose once, you'll win later. They're like, next time I'll win. They're like, hey, you're nice. Uh, Cowboy said, can you eat Pig God from One Punch Man? Pig God. Let's see. Oh, I, f I missed whatever they said a second ago. They're like, hey, we're glad we brought Master Hodo on the trip. Uh, they're home. The season has changed. Uh, Sonoro getting back before it snows. Uh, oh, and they're like running back into their friends from the beginning. Let's see. Kirby said, uh, I mean, if I have a miracle fruit, I can inhale many things that I wouldn't be able to without one. And then Air Tanker said, oh, so yes. Oh, Kirby, do you play Smash? Because Kirby's in Smash, and now uh, Kirby has a block form when he eats Steve from Minecraft. So she didn't get her a souvenir, even though she promised that she was going to get her a souvenir. Okay. They're like, I won't forgive you. You have to take a bath and sleep in the same bed with her. That's weird. Yeah. And then everybody laughs as if that's not just kind of creepy. Cool. Weird game. Uh, let's see. Nair Tanker said, Kirby and Jet should duel. I have been doing more Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. Uh, recently I've been doing, like, schedules. Uh, where people will, like, plan stuff with me, and then I'll, like, uh, hang out with them for, like, an hour, and we'll, like, talk online and, like, play a game. Uh, so Kirby, if you do want to do, like, a hangout thing, feel free to, like, uh, we can, like, get together, I can look at my calendar, we can, like, schedule a time, and we could hang out, like, once a week or so if you were down. Same thing with you, Nerd Tinker. Like, if we, like, schedule times for stuff, I totally would be down to hang out, like, 
a few times a week. Okay, so we beat the game. Uh, so now I'm gonna beat the game again, but with a different character. Arcade mode. Player one. Okay. And this time we're going to play as the bow person, because she seemed cool. She also seemed cool, the knight. But we're gonna go with the bow. Uh, and I'm gonna stick with the tornado assist, because the tornado assist was pretty good. Let's see, Nerdtanker said, I want to schedule Minecraft for as soon as possible. Um, after this, well, you can hit me up on Discord, and I'll, like, talk to you more about it on Discord, and we can find a time where we're both free. What in Jutsu host a fighting competition? The heirloom seal of the realm is proof that the holder rules the whole world. Oh shit, what? I must become the champion and acquire it. So there's a fighting contest and the winner becomes the rule of the world? Let me take over the mission. No, this mission is mine. So there's a whole bunch of people who are competing to be the one to go get the heirloom, and whoever has the heirloom becomes the ruler of the world. And I'm one of the foot soldiers who wants to get the heirloom. But my sister is like, shut up, uh, I'm like the best, you shouldn't go because you're just my like little sister, blah 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 blah. Um, she says you're a pervert and you're selfish. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Nani? <laughs> uh, they're arguing before they go to the fighting competition. Um, Kirby said, after something I have found out, I have been looking into my Yu-Gi-Oh! All Traps deck. Oh, Kirby, do you play traditional format? In traditional format, you can have one copy of, like, any banned card. Um, okay, so I'm gonna fight my sister and it'll determine uh, who's going to actually go fight in the competition to get the heirloom, uh, and the winner of the tournament gets the heirloom that allows the person to be the ruler of the world. Why would you fight in the tournament for somebody's behalf? Why wouldn't you just rule the world? It seems really weird. Uh, Cowboy said, Nick, all these anime girls is making something raise, and it ain't Jesus. Their tanker said, well, I'm always free. Kirby said, Nani? He said, I haven't heard of this. Yeah, uh, Ryan told me about traditional format, and he was like, I don't know how you didn't know that was a thing. Uh, but Ryan and I have been playing traditional format, it's been really interesting. Um, I actually faced off against Ryan, uh, today. Uh, we both were playing Skull Servant decks, uh, but my deck was a Skull Servant anti Skull Servant deck. And my deck beat his deck every time. I'm actually about to upload a video of that later today. Uh, so you guys will be able to check that out soon. Their Tanker said, I activate Pot of Greek. It allows me to draw two cards. Um, I use Pot of Greek quite, like, often in traditional. Though, to be honest, Pot of Greek is pretty much the same thing as Pot of Extravagance if you're using a deck that doesn't run extra deck. So it doesn't feel too crazy because I feel like I've already had access to and actively been using excuse me, cards that essentially do the same thing as Pot of Greed anyways. Graceful Charity is pretty cool. Let's see, uh, Cowboy said, Kirby Duel. Kirby said, I have no interest in playing banned cards. Kirby's like, keep in mind, I'm the guy who doesn't even like cards like Raigeki. Oh, Kirby, I remember you always hated Raigeki. How do you feel about cards like Harpy's Feather Duster now not being banned? Uh, my sister's like, oh, I can't believe my little sister beat my ass. Ah, uh, it's a shame to my sword, which she constantly refers to by name. My boss is like, hey, you're gonna go to the fighting competition where the winner gets the heirloom and take over the world. She's like, oh, I'll be the champion, and I'm gonna bring you back the heirloom seal of the realm. It's really weird that I'm gonna get it for you and not just keep it, but whatever. Um, but at least she has a reason to fight. The first girl I played as didn't have a reason to fight. And this is a much more interesting story. Nerdtanker said, but Pot of Extravagance prevents additional draws. That's true, where Pot of Greed doesn't prevent additional draws. 
And he said, and another band card was like Six Cents. Uh, Six Cents has the potential to get you like some good games. Let's see. Kirby said at least they are equal on the ban list now. But uh they should both be banned. Air Tanker said it's more of a chance card, but damn, did he get draws on? Yeah, six cents definitely is a chance card. I agree with that hundred percent. It would fit well in like a Joey game. Let's see. Cowboy said, Kirby Senpai, please duel me. And then Kirby said, Senpai. I think Nerd Tanker uh, is getting into the anime mood. Uh, Cowboy said, Yup, ooh woo. Okay, let's throw down. Oh, she's using the same tornado assist. Okay. Come at me, bro. Oop, she was able to jump faster. Tornado. Kirby said, uh, would you want, uh, my, would you want mine to use an honest deck, a fun deck, or a gimmicky deck? Ooh. Kirby, you should also hit me up on Discord about when you'd be down to hang out so we can schedule a hangout. Because I'd be down to duel you again, Kirby. It's been a long time since we've been here, and it's about time uh, we faced off on something. But I do want to use traditional format, though, Kirby. Uh, my boy Starving Venom, I can play him at one now, Kurtz. <laughs> it allows, uh, cards to never be, like, taken away, uh, which is nice. So the game can never tell me that I can't straight up play stuff. Oh, I missed something that was said, but the bottom of it- oh, I also missed the bottom of it. Kirby said gimmick and fun might just be the same thing. Cowboy said, uh, use any dick, Kirby. <laughs> any dick at all. <laughs> Cowboy said, deck, deck. Kirby said, uh, I'm all for playing you again. Ball. Ooh, fuck. Also, Kirby, what's your opinion on rush duels? I'm not sure if I talk to you. Uh, since Rush Duels have become a thing and, like, heard your opinion on it. Um, I don't know what all, uh, like, Rush Duel cards are available at the moment, but I know I've done a few Rush Duels and, like, enjoyed it. It's just been a minute since I've done it. I only recently got into traditional form. One moment, there to before I go. Got it. Uh, Nertinger said, Roll of Fate is another card that lets you draw cards. It's not printed, but if it was, it would be banned almost immediately. Fun fact, did you know in traditional format you can still play Victory Dragon? Uh, Victory Dragon, who has the effect of if your opponent's life points are reduced to zero by an attack by this card, you win the match. I had no idea that there was a format of Yu-Gi-Oh where that was like still a thing. You can get that full match win. Let's see, Kirby said, so I don't know anything about Rush Duels. Uh, it's not just a different format, but it has... What the fuck? No, no, don't let her do that. Uh, not only is it a different format, but it has its own, like, card pool. Like, it doesn't use normal cards. And Rush Duels have their own card designs. 
Ah. Don't let that be grab you with her chalk rams. I kind of want to play chalk ram bitch next. Uh, she looks really interesting. Tornado time. Kill the bitch. Yeah! Uh, Nary Tanker said, Rush duels are kind of toxic in my opinion. Toxic? Tell me why. Like, what, what makes them, like, toxic? Ooh. Ow. Ow. Oh my god. Ow. No doubt. Ooh. 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 <laughs> uh, rush duels let you do stuff like you can uh, normal summon as many times as you want in rush duels. Um, you draw like five cards every turn. No, you draw until you have five cards in your hand every turn. You don't draw five cards every turn. Um, since you can normal summon as many times as you want, um, you can get like multiple like tribute summons in during your turn. Uh, there are only three monster zones. It's pretty interesting. If you've ever done speed duels, it kind of reminds me of speed duels. Uh, but it's meant to be like faster pace, um, and the cards are formatted differently. Oh fuck, stop dying. I wonder if that smoke thing she just did was like a counter. Like if I had hit her, would I have been like carried? Nair Tanker said it's just like regular Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, once you build a good uh, board, uh, you're just unstoppable. I don't think that's how regular Yu-Gi-Oh is, because you can definitely just run boards. Like that. Let's see, Cowboy said, Kirby, are you down in the duel right now? Nair Tanker said, uh, and the being able to summon any amount of times is just stupid. I don't think it's that bad, because they've balanced a lot of the Rush Duel cards to make them, like, not too broken. Uh, like, a lot of Rush Duel cards, when you read their effects, they sound bad. But then in Rush Duels, you're like, actually, these are pretty fine. Like, these are pretty good effects. Nair Tanker said, I hope they have no intent of adding extra deck monsters. That would end the format. Goodness, we'll see, my dude. Who's this bitch? I don't think I ever fought her. Like, during my previous run at all. Did she drop a chair? What the fuck was that? Got it. The bow girl might just be, like, better than the other girl I was playing. Or maybe the other girl I was playing just helped me learn the fundamentals a little bit more. Oh, that's her launcher. Oh, she uses the dumb flame pillar. Ah, oh, fuck. The flame pillar's not gonna do it. Got him. Tanker said they added blue eyes, but not Dark Magician to Rush. Then Cowboy said they did, what are you talking about? And then Tanker said, oh, then he hasn't appeared in the anime? Dot, dot, dot. Um, I haven't watched Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens. Is it good? Sevens is the anime that's connected to, like, Rush Force. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, fuck. She went for that low, 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 The range of my heavy attack is so strong. Let's see, Nerd Tanker said, only been watching anime, LMAO. He said, it's still stupid as the old Yu-Gi-Oh. The protagonist wins because of assholes. Sounds like you can hear me. Ba -da -da -da. Ooh. 
I mean, I feel like Seven's... Well, it's not even a feel like thing. Isn't Seven just straight up inspired by the original series? Because they do the cycle thing. Where, like, Zexel was inspired by the original series. And then Arc 5 was inspired by GX. And then Brains was inspired by Five Years. So now they gotta start the cycle over again. So now Seven is inspired by the original series. Let's see, Cowboy said Tank. Check Discord. Why are you swagging so hard? Why are you swagging so hard? Oh, she lost in the semifinals, which means we still have the finals. Nerdtanker said, uh, like, make them win. I get it. But does it have to be an asshole almost every other day? So what do you mean by asshole? Who's my opponent? The strongest of the three kingdoms. Oh, is Master Ren just always the boss? Okay. Cool. I'll beat her ass. Let's go. Okay, come at me, bro. Let's see. Nerdtaker said, uh, like, make them win. Oh, I already read that. He said, uh, one of the very first duels fucking Exodia. Did you get Exodia? Did Curves get Exodia? Who got Exodia? So I think I might play uh, the story mode one more time with the Night Girl. Uh, Nerdtaker said more than half the duels in the first anime were won because of some asshole. I like it when uh, Yu-Gi-Oh characters have like fairly established decks where you kind of know what all the cards in the deck are. Uh, so you get to see them use, like, similar and adapted strategies in different duels. Okay. So I won the tournament and I got the heirloom. And I apparently care about my boss a lot. Because I, I just gave them the heirloom that lets them control the world. They're like, enjoy this hot spring bath. Uh, so she's like, I once made you stay home when I went to the hot spring. Uh, now let's enjoy the hot spring together. Okay. And then they hung out in the hot spring. Let's see. Nerd Tanker said the anime still, uh, but it just makes me think. Okay, and then she flirts with her in the hot tub. 
So she's essentially like coming under more And there we go. Did I never lose that time around? Nerd Tanker said, uh, one of the biggest assholes in my opinion was 5Ds, with Leo becoming a signer when he should have uh, been one way sooner. Is it an ass pull for someone to become something they should have been the whole time? Also, hold on a second, let me go back. Yeah, return to menu. The reason why I want to return to menu is because um, I probably need to turn up the CPU difficulty. There's just normal, easy, and difficult, so highest level difficulty, let's go. And I want to play as the Night Girl, she seems really cool. Gakushin. And we're gonna stick with the tornado. What's her story? Oh, is this also the same story with the fighting competition? The heirloom seal, the holder, rules over the world. She wants to take the mission. Uh, the person who has the sword wants to do it. Uh, I train every day. Foreign warriors won't defeat me easily. Uh, let's see, I'm confident. Uh, the other girl wants to take it. I'm like, master, let me take it. If you really want to fight, why don't you earn the right on your own? Fight the girl, the winner of the thing, you will go to the thing. Yeah, you will physically understand how unprepared you are. Uh, I need to win this battle by any means. She has the same story as the bitch I just played. How many people are just the underlings of this woman and are gonna fight in the tournament for the heirloom? And why is it that the first person I played as didn't have the, they didn't have anything to do with this plotline in both the tournament? Nerdtanker said, I mean, yeah, he was supposed to be the fifth signer after Rex got beat, but no, because the populated crow will be like the fifth, uh, and, so, and then Nerdtanker said, what the fuck, dude? This is interesting, because everybody seems to have a weapon in this game, but this girl does not. She is a brawler through and through. Her super does not seem particularly good. Not her super, her, her, uh, I don't know, I may be sleeping on her heavy attack. Hitting it twice was cool. Nerdtanker says she has gauntlets, those are weapons. That's true, she does have gauntlets, you're right. Look at my toes. to try and punish you for it. Nerdtaker says she prefers close quarter combat, uh, wearing armor on her arms and legs, and those are her weapons, it seems. That's true. That's an accurate assessment. Um, this is interesting because she seems to have less story than the person before. Because the person before was like, oh, that's my sister and we're rivals. And in this she's like, I train every day and that's why I should go. It's not like a sister thing. Let's see. She's grateful. She's like, I'm going to bring back the heirloom seal and whoever has it rules the world. But no one in the game just wants to have it for themselves, which is really weird. I guess everyone you fight in the tournament who's not an underling of homegirl would be someone 
I, I guess I'm wrong. I'm not sure about it. Alright, come closer, Dion. Nerdtanger said, ruling the world, I guess, means having Soul Calibur in this game, LMAO. I mean, yeah, I guess so. To be honest, uh, a lot of games, I guess a lot of, like, fighting games especially, like, to have, like, some kind of tournament. Street Fighter tournament base, Mortal Kombat tournament base, Soul Calibur, I mean, they're fighting for, uh, like, the Soul Calibur. Or are they, are they fighting for Excalibur? Do they call it the Soul Calibur, or do they call it Excalibur? Their tanker said, go! I don't know. I wanted to summon the tornado. Nerd tanker said, go on the offensive. Okay, yeah, I can go on the offensive. I have been playing it pretty safe. But to be honest, uh, this character does seem fairly strong. And I do think you're right. I do think this character is able to really dish out some punishment. What's this girl's gimmick again? Oh, she has a really, really big spear. There are a lot of spear people in this game. She likely has better range than I do. Oh, I'm facing the wrong way. There we go. How do I capitalize off of when I get the wall bounce on? Fuck, I missed. I guess I just have to scoot up a little bit whenever I want to take advantage of that. Wall bounce. That's missed. I need to like work on my spacing so I can chain more combos together. Nerd Tanker said, also, I'm not sure what the final blade is called. I just know there's a demonic blade called Soul Edge and a heavenly counterpart known as Soul. I imagine he said Soul Calibur. He said, that's at least what I understood of the story. If Rocky IV was here, he'd probably be like, So this is what they're called, is there any uh, Because Rocky IV is super into Soul Calibur, which is cool. It's always nice uh, to be, like, passionate about something that you enjoy. I know I'm really into, like, Ben Tins. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah, man. I'm still not capitalizing off of getting those wall bounces or whatever. Tornado time. Got it. The brawler's pretty cool. I do like her. Also, I think the way that you pick your color in this game is relative to what button on the controller you pick when you're selecting your character. I noticed that on the menu there are multiple girls that just have under boobs in this game. One moment, Nertik. I'll read what you said in a moment. I just don't want to get uh, completely fucking uh, demolished. Oh my god. Going to come. Oh, it's a. Oh, I get it. Yo, yeah, I'm learning. Oh, 
That's gonna get you a wall bounce. Fuck, but I didn't capitalize on the wall bounce. Do I need to jump to capitalize on the wall bounce? Tornado time. Nerdtaker says Soul Edge needs uh, power to become stronger and to be. Oh, and to be at its maximum, uh, it needs to somehow consume soul power to uh, put the swords together. See, that's a jump-in opportunity, like, whenever I do the tornado. Oh no. Don't let her bitch you like that. I, I never capitalize off the wall bounce. Okay. Ooh, she tried to jump over tornado time. How do you capitalize on the wall bounce? Let's see, Nair Tanker said it's somewhat explained in the guts versus nightmare death battle. It's time for a death battle. What did you think of Hulk versus Broly, Nerd Tanker? Did you agree or disagree with the results of the fight? Excuse me? <laughs> nah. Oh, Chakram Bitch. I did want to play as Chakram Bitch. I might play as her next, actually. Aw, oh, fuck me. <sighs> She's gonna do that with every time. Fuck out of here, chop ram bitch. Wait, I have an energy mace. Oh, I'm getting fucked up. I'm getting hella fucked up. Oh, oh I'm I'm hella dead. Nerd Tanker said, "Who can get that angriest?" I'm asking, what are your thoughts on the death battle they did of Hulk vs. Broly? That was the last uh, death battle of the previous season. He said that was Hulk vs. Broly in a nutshell. I thought it was interesting the way that they scaled uh, Hulk and Broly to one another. Get up. No! Tornado time's not gonna be enough. Unless we hit her with it one more time. Triple tornado time. Try tornado torrent. Nair Tanker said it was funny, but it ultimately came down to who can get the angriest. I feel like it ultimately came down to like who has the best scaling, to be honest. Though, if we're being real though, I honestly think Hulk should scale to Superman because they fought before and it was uh, considered a close fight, like, in-universe. Then again, that would have been, like, a much weaker Superman that uh, Hulk could scale to, and it would be a much stronger, like, Gogeta Blue that fucking Broly could scale to. So I guess regardless, Broly still probably gets the W on that. Ooh. Oh my gosh, her like, long distance grab thing is so good. Wow, we can just light attack the shit out of her. Yeah, fuck her up. No, that was so fucking close. We almost clutched that. As uh, John Mason and Uncle from uh, Jackie Chan Adventures says, I uh... <laughs> Nerd Tanker said even if they scaled uh, to Superman, Broly was stronger because he literally broke the laws of reality without with how angry he was. Don't sleep on Superman, Nerd Tanker. Okay, for one, take everything you thought you knew about Superman uh, and realize that Superman is just way better than you think. So recently, DC Comics at the end of Death Metal said that every like single DC Comics like story 
is now canon. It's all like one big history. It all happened. Which means all the dumb, like, crazy Superman bullshit, like how Superman used to, like, hack and sneeze away galaxies and shit, that's all the same Superman. Uh, ah, because we used to say, like, pre-Crisis Superman is much stronger than, like, post-Crisis Superman. Now there's no difference. Now that's all, like, one dude. Superman's, like, hella strong now, and now Superman's scaling is also, like, respectively held in front of Also, I think... Yes, the tornado. Nope. Fuck. Oh, got me. Nerdtaker said, honestly, can't wait to see what they have planned for the next death battle. Yeah, I kind of wish they had some kind of, like, preview or announcement of what the first death battle of, like, this year is going to be. Oh, that's... you can't actually chain the tornado. Ow. I do like that she has an energy use. Oh, she's beating my ass. Oh, the tornado. There's a limited range. Ah. Got me. Nairtaker said they will eventually. True. I mean, that is true. I guess I wanted them to end the season with, like, a tease at what, like, the next season was going to happen. I think it would be interesting if they uh, told us who all the fighters for the next season were, but you didn't know who was fighting who next season. And then people could speculate, like, who they think would be, like, matched up with each other. And if they did some, like, surprise matchups, I think that'd be really good. Chakra and girl has me trip. Okay. Uh, Nerd Tanker said that's an interesting idea. Give her time to use her like chakras to affect her. Game. You kind of need to get in chakra and go face. You do have to respect her though, because if she is trying to hit you. She went for the wall bounce. She's got the wall bounce combo. I went for the ground bounce, but I didn't really capitalize. Fuck. Fuck. Stop letting her do that. <laughs> yeah, wall bounce. And I didn't capitalize. Tornado time. Nerd Tanger said, I'm still hoping for uh, Lu Bu from Dynasty Warriors versus Tadakatsu Honda from Samurai Warriors. Are Dynasty Warriors and Samurai Warriors made by like the same company? Because they're both Warriors titles, but I don't know if that means that they're both uh, like 
how part of like the same like warrior production. Okay. Eat her ass. I feel like what made that fight hard is that she like blocks like a good. Nerdchanger said no different companies, but they did have a sponsor version. Interesting. Which company makes Hyrule? I guess Nintendo makes Hyrule Warriors. Was Hyrule Warriors made in collaboration with one of those companies that does warrior games? Really close. That was an insanely close round. Goodness. Nerdtanker said the games were based on ancient Japanese and Chinese rule. Nerdtanker said, well, I know Bandai made Dynasty. I don't remember what company made Samurai. Okay. So Dynasty Warriors is based on Chinese culture. And then Samurai Warriors is based on Japanese culture? Excuse me. Is that right? Or am I mixing it up? Because if I remember correctly, Samurai are Japanese. And China's known for their mini dynasties. Mayor Tanker said yes. She got me fucked up. She got me fucked up. Okay. Music's pretty good. Said, so the two I mentioned above are known for being the strongest officers. I've heard both of those names before, most definitely. Uh, my roommate Jonathan back in college uh, used to talk about uh, the Dynasty Warrior games. Uh, so I was familiar with Lubu when you mentioned Lubu. Oh, I should have hit a different button when I selected my character. Hold on. Yeah, go back. Oh, I guess I just selected it using a different button. Wait, now she's using my assist? Why did the game change the assist that it used? Oh. 
I wasted that second tornado. It was too soon. To... Yes! Nairtaker said, I know that in one of the games they have a fight which ends in a draw uh, as people keep interrupting. Interesting. Terrifying twist. Okay, let's hit it up. Does she have another spear? Is she like the umpteen spear character? Yep, hers is interesting. Two pronged bullet. Double rated spear. Oh, she's like the Raiden of this one. She's got like lightning attacks. Nertinger said one of the problems with Dynasty Warriors is that they're always changing some of the weapons used by certain officers. Uh, and he said Lubu has gotten the most. like a blockbuster move, uh, which actually sounds really cool when you say it out loud, because uh, blockbuster also is like a big like, entertainment property. Uh, Nerdtanger said, I've seen at um, Nerdtanker said, I cut off the part, uh, I need to shorten my messages. Ooh, understandable, Nerdtanker. Yeah, it's weird. Uh, YouTube has, like, an interesting balance when it comes to, like, streaming on the PS4 between, uh, not wanting to have too many short messages and not having, uh, like, too many long messages. Let's see. What? Why are their weapons named like that? Okay, so now I'm gonna fight Ryofu. 
数が無力すさまじいだろう。優勝に手がかかった今、行くぞ、呼ぶ。Yeah, you always fight real food then. Let's see, Nurtanger said he used to have a pike.、Uh, it was a halberd, then back to Ba. What is a pike? Okay. Be careful. Dang, I got greedy. Nerdtanker said, then a dual pipe that combines and breaks. It just confuses me. Combines and breaks? Oh, so it's like it can become two blades kind of thing. Oh gosh. The AI was like, is this a combo? Fuck. Gosh, if I had kept that going, it would have been some heat. Ooh. Yes. Nerdtanker said, well, anyway,、uh, I should be going to bed soon.、Uh, see you tomorrow whenever you decide to start streaming again. Awesome. I hope that you have a happy, fun night. Thank you for tuning in, and I'm excited to see you on the next video. Ooh. It's always fun. Oh, you can't have a fun, Nerdtanker. Oh. Nerd Tanker said, Just so you know, Samurai Warriors has、uh, never changed an officer's weapon in my knowledge. So it's specifically like a Dynasty Warriors thing where they keep changing the weapons up. Wouldn't that give Lulu an advantage if he was to fight the Samurai Warriors right now? Because he would have a much greater like, arsenal of options. Or maybe they could argue that the Samurai Warrior guy would have much more experience with his weapon because he always uses the same one. Yeah! Yeah, beat that ass! Yeah! Ren lost! Yeah, we won. We got the heirloom because we won the fighting contest. Yep,、mm -hmm. and we take it back to Lady Soso. Yep,、mm -hmm. Okay, yep. She's probably gonna hit on us. Yep,、mm -hmm. thank you.、Mm -hmm. Small reward was our reward.、Uh, we get invited to her room. I guess that's where we are.、Uh, enjoy tonight. Oh, a banquet. Are we gonna get like food? Maybe it won't be some weird flirty thing. Oh, it, it still is because she's like feeding her or whatever. Beth would really like that. She likes seafood and she likes spices. Nerd Tinker said it depends on Death Battle themselves.、Uh, they do look at any and all experience, but maybe each Lubu is a different iteration. I mean, the way that Death Battle likes to treat multi iterations for characters, they normally like to do like a composite 
where they put like their skills together. They even did that with Broly, where they were like, we're gonna focus on Super Broly, but we're also going to like take feats from like similar fighters like Kale and even like the previous Broly. Okay. So I actually do want to play this like a little bit more than I originally thought. Uh, Chopperin Girl is who I want to play next. Who's the girl in the middle? Yeah. I keep thinking everybody's green color. Go back to the main menu. I don't want to pick her green color. Okay. Nintendo said, uh, well, I'm heading off to bed before my brain hurts more, Alameo. Yo, I hope that you sleep well and then have a happy fun night, my dude. Thank you for tuning in, and I'm excited to see you on the next video. It's always fun hanging out. Okay. Yes, they're hosting a fighting competition. Mm -hmm. The champion is the heirloom seal. The heirloom seal is proof of the personal world. I must prove the champion and acquire I agree. And the heirloom seal belong to us, the Sun Clan. Oh, so they're like two different clans, and it's like the clan leader wants the heirloom or whatever. So everybody wants to get the heirloom for the clan leader. So she's gonna be like, send me, and then it's like, no, let me do it, and then it's like, oh, you, who's gonna do it? I've been trained every day, you niggas aren't gonna beat me, uh, some, 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 no, the objective of the mission is to win the match, become the champion, bring the heirloom, and she's like, that's how I gotta do it. Uh, they're like, who should do it? And it's like, you two fight. Wait, I'll enter? What? So the master actually wants to go in? What? Hmm. Okay. This is kind of interesting. So this is one where the head of the clan is like, I don't know why I would send other people. I would just go myself. And then a clan member goes, fuck that. I'll fight you and whoever wins. Them. What's her ground? Sometimes you can do it in a combo, but it's a lot more than I thought I could. Okay, that's gonna be spicy as fuck.
We're popping all, all, all of them. We're out of there. Because I guess by now we just sad. Let's see. We were 11 when I started. Starting is two hours since, then it's gonna be like 1 15. I'm not going to bed until like 3 30, so I got a little bit of time. Is there anyone that I want to play other than Chakram Girl? Like, is it a thing where I'm gonna finish up and go, oh, but I should have played this? What's her bitch? I wanted to play as her. Okay, so I think I'm feeling the flow. I'm starting to understand a little bit more about what I can do. I tried to hit her with my Ryo. did I do that? I knew she had that move. So I was trying to get her super out, and I accidentally found her like, long distance grab. Hmm. Now I'm hyped. I think shock rims are really cool.
Wait, we're just fighting Ryofu and they're not making a big deal about it in the story? Ryofu's the strongest fighter in the world. You have to always have a full cutscene that describes why it's a big deal why we're fighting Ryo. So my sock keeps getting twisted around. Yeah. I keep having to fix it. That's a big boy damage button. What's the difference between R1 and trying? R1 is B plus C. Nani? Nanu? If R1 is B plus C, then that means you super. What's, the, what's her secret if not? It's quarter circle four plus B plus C. Am I not doing it? In the wrong way. Also, what the fuck is that? Also, I fucked around too much. 
Still haven't learned how to super in this game. Even though I'm pretty sure it's just quarter circle forward. And either R2 or R1, one of those two. Bitch is actually kind of cool. I may low key, high key, want to play with Lightning Bitch. She looks like she'd be fun. The way she did that seemed insane. She seems pretty cool. I do probably want to play the lightning bit. Don't 
There you go. Close, but we got it in the end. You get stuck on these screens. Okay. Ooh, we get to fight Gauntlet Girl. Gauntlet Girl's fun. Ding, 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 ding. This is a trap. That's an interesting line. The gold color looks kind of cool for her. Interpreting what it says in controller settings. BC is R1. R1. So I need to be making sure that I'm hitting quarter circle forward R1. We don't have time to play around with it. 
Ah, I keep doing that. I keep going like, oh, but I should learn how to super, and it's just not an opportune time. That was a special when I just did. That like sequence of attacks. Actually, yeah, figure out how you did that. So I think I've learned how to do like the L1 special attack. I still haven't figured out how you super. That being said, I can do some pretty good combo things with what I'm doing. Ooh, some of my favorite colors. I like that variation. Let's go. I just realized she has like nine scores. Ryan, say hello. Yo, Ryan, welcome to the stream. Good at you. How's your day today? Do you have any questions for the board? Do you have any discussion topics you want to talk about on the stream? So, she got me with her. Jed is like, yeah, I only care about terrorism if it is in YouTube trending. I just think it was weird. Ah. That it seemed like a lot of people didn't want to call the attack on the Capitol terrorism for some reason. Oh, that's probably her special. Yes! Yes! That's what I need. What are you up to, Ryan? Oh, Kirby jumped on the stream earlier. Do you remember the curb stream? Oh, fuck. said, yeah, they told him to show up. Mm -hmm. I'm aware. Nerd Tinker was like, let me see if I can go get a cruise. Oh, yo, Ryan, what time is it in Central Standard Time? Currently? Excuse me? Oh, 
Ryan said dip direction time. But what actually is the current time in Central Standard Time? Oh my god. CST, not DET. And then you said 148. Thank you, Ryan. I appreciate it. Huh? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, save me. No. No. Ryan said the police are trying not to be polite to anyone else who has no evidence of any crimes against terrorism in China. I don't. I don't know what that means. Do 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 do. Oh, the super uses up four bars. Now I know. That's probably why I haven't been able to do the super yet. We're gonna start with a heavy attack. If you block it, you take punishment. Yikes. We haven't hit our wounds. My goodness. She's really good with her uh, like overheads and lows. I need to know. Oh, that's the trap. Ryan said, yeah, they were supposed to be in a different country, and I think they would be better if they could do a little more than one thing, but they... I have no idea what Ryan's talking about. One of her moves is the emotion. Never do that Z-Motion. Yeah. Is the Z-Motion move the... How is that? It's, I'm having a lot of trouble trying to get off my uh, like special combo starter here. I almost think it would be best not to even like, try to do the combo starter. Don't dare let her get you out like that. Oh my goodness! 
I can't even see her bar. Yikes. I think Ryan's just posting random stuff now in the live chat. I heard he did something similar to Aiden. Ah. said random stuff, yeah, I know it's not only for you, but it's just like, <laughs> my boy's still out here with the random stuff. You're not slick, Ryan, just because you put random stuff at the beginning of it, doesn't mean <laughs> that the rest of it isn't just random stuff. Ryan's sitting here uh, with his predictive keyboard, and then he's just like hitting whatever comes up. Ah. 
down. Ryan still is definitely using predictive tech. Ryan, when do you ever say my man in your whole life? <laughs> I'm surprised your predictive text is like my man. <laughs> Okay, now I think he's trying to specifically do like a weird like 70s. Who the fuck is out here in the street saying my man and good food? I'm laying down with good food. <laughs> Next he's gonna be talking about giant turkeys. Fuck. Oh. No. No, 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 don't let her do it to you. Oh. No, get her off. Get her off. Do the move. Yeah, that. Thank you. Fuck. Oh. She hits you with her special right there. <laughs> Ryan, all this talk about cannon is making me think about Savage Dragon. I'm watching. I have enough bars to super if it'll let me. Let me super game. I've never super with this bitch. Get the power of her fist engraved in my mind. And we're back in the saddle, boys. Back in the saddle. Back in the battle. Except Age of Ultron, which is his earlier game. He doesn't really have a new game. It's just like a straight up vision fight. I've only ever read one vision graphic novel. 
that was like entirely dedicated to uh, vision. And it was really fucking good. It's like an insane ninja This is what bitch. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, don't. Don't let her. No! Oh, I'm so dead. I'm so, so motherfucking alive. I'm dead anyways. I was that close. That close to defeat me. Okay. You win this round. We're getting back in. What time is it now? I just realized she hit me with that big fucking ball on her hand. That's like a weapon. Rhymes made a comment about the enemy girls looking for a savage dragon sight. Bouncing ass. Just the light screens have been pretty familiar right now. So is it 157? Almost 2 a.m. Uh, when did I start sucking so much ass? Ryan said it bounces in the film room light. Does the green ass bounce in the tail boom like? That's my favorite Joker quote. Uh, he was talking to the Incredible Hulk. Uh, he was trying to ask him what I did. That was his pick up. Everybody's seen that movie. Batman and Hulk 3. Great night out.
Yes. Terrifying Twister. Tornadic. Terrifying. Torrent. She launched me. It was over. I, at a certain point, stopped being able to launch the AI. I used to do a lot of stuff that was entirely based off of getting launches, and now I can't get launches. There is no such thing as a free launch. Lost Charles said, nice rap yesterday. Oh, thank you kindly. How's your day today? Do you have any questions for your boy? Do you have any discussion topics that to talk about on this stream? Excuse me. Character select. Ryan said, Why not? Huh, because I don't like any of them. Boss Charles said, It's 3 05. It's not 3 05 Central Standard Time. Game, you gotta stop fucking me, okay? I wanna do some AI Dungeon 2 tonight, game. Can't keep me. Ryan said, is Martin Luther King Jr. a terrorist? Did he unlawfully use violence in order to try and, like, push a political agenda? Because if so, I, I, that's the definition of terrorism. Uh, Aiden and I were talking about that earlier, didn't we? Not Martin Luther King specifically, but like, how do you define Terry? Uh, how do I get back into the saddle? How do I regain my last time? Boss Charles said, Do you have crew 2? I do not have crew 2. Oh my 
Yeah. Isn't crew like a racing one? just started to get a vibe of that. And wow, looks like I'm back to the character select screen. Just let me be able to continue with the same bitch. I'm playing the same bitch. I don't need to go back to the character select screen. How many orders is this one? Now we gotta reload the same stage. Yep. That was weird. I felt like I had it and then I didn't have it. Could have gotten the input right, I think that would have been good. Boss Tross said you should get it. It's a driving game. It's old and it's like $13.49. He said, My bad, I didn't mean to put it's old. Is it not old? Um, also, I'm not a big driving game guy. Need for Speed's kind of okay. Uh, but I like Need for Speed because it's not just like racing. Uh, it's like open world and you get chased by the police and you have to get away from the police. So it's almost like speed, stunt driving, and stealth put together. So the issue I was having, guys, and the reason why I was getting my ass beat over and over again, I was using combo extenders as combo starters. So essentially I was using something that you're supposed to do at the end of your combo to make it longer as a way to like start my combo. And it was working for the longest time, but uh, it's finally come back to haunt me. Uh, and also, the combo extender is something that uh, leaves me like fairly open if you don't do like normal attacks before you do it. So essentially, uh, I was vulnerable as fuck. But now that I'm like trying to hit with something else first, it gives me like space so that my opponent actually can't like punish me. Uh, but at the same time, my opponent's doing so many fucking 50 50 bullshit mix ups. <laughs> I'm still I'm still eating such ass. That's not, that's not Crypto's name. <laughs> Ryan said ass beat like how Superman taps that ass all night with his family member Crypto. The dead zombie Crypto. Who smells? The dead zombie Crypt dog. Made, made me think, uh, dead zombie Crypt dog, like the game. <laughs> crypto, uh, trying to make gang signs with his paw or whatever. Fucking Superman in the ass as a zombie. Actually, crypto spelled with a Z is kind of cool for like zombie crypto. Because it's like a crypt. Because he's dead. Ooh. That seems like something they would really say. He'd be like, I'm a crypto. I'm crypto. <laughs> We a C! <laughs> Can't you see I'm becoming crypto? Ryan said, hey, wrong gang signs are no good. Dude! 
Tornado has it. Fuck. You tornado did a bad time though, so keep your time. Fucking yeah! Yeah, I killed him. Ryan said, you of all people know this. The dog came by with a bark by. Uh, being a victim of a canine drive-by biting. I was gonna say a bark by, so we have like the same idea. More or less. Rough game. After like 15 million tries in, a whole bunch of hub deaths. Okay. That took a good long time. Ryan said, We know what happened to Clay Critter. Oh gosh. Ah. Ah. It was gonna be a fight. Uh, Okay. She's really good. Ryan said Clay Kurtner was killed by Tupac. Shout out to my nigga Clay Kurtner. Having only ever made two appearances in comics. One on the cover of a comic book. And one on the interior, but just to act as a reason for Crypto the Superdog and Streaky the Cat to have some weird fucking drama in a Super Sun's to mix up God who died. What? This <laughs> is. Oh no. Oh, Ryan said and also kept releasing albums. You can't appear behind me when I'm already in the corner. Stupid. That's not how corners work. I'm about to send you to the corner. Because you keep trying to ah, put me in the corner. Oh, 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 I guess what? Oh, oh shit. Teleport your head ass. Bitch. Mm. No, mm, you blocked. Haha, <laughs> didn't block this. Too fast, can't block this. Ryan said, bitches, parenthesis, jet, do be stupid. We're making progress. Did we beat the story? It's been hella long. Yes. What? I like how they're both like, I feel like I've already won because you're my opponent and you're weak. And then it's like, mm -hmm, no, I've already won because you're my opponent and you're weak. Okay, so it's the two little kid characters by now. I've never thought that other little kid character was interesting. Like the one I'm fighting against? She's another spear person with a big ass spear. There are multiple spear people in this game, like way more than I thought. Oh, fuck. Oh my gosh. No, no, we're not doing that. No, no, stop. Stop, I know I shout on you about the spear. I, it looks kind of cool that it looks like a bird because it has a cape on it. Damn. Get fuck off me. Ah. Ryan said, I see Jet. Parenthesis bitches is throwing up gang signs. Gang signs? Ah. 
Oh no. She just beat her ass. Beat her ass. Beat her ass. Beat her ass. Oh no. Oh no. You're gonna have to go back to the character select screen. Select the off to fucking time. Ooh. Capitalize. go back to the character select screen, guys. I don't know how my sock keeps spinning around my foot like a fucking Beyblade. No, why does this bitch have so many fights? She fights so many people. She already fought the strongest nigga in the world, and she does it part of the way through instead of at the end like everybody else. Ryan said I don't need predictive text to see Jets bitches gang signs for what they are. Yo. Okay, it's time to defeat her. Oh. Um. Covert admiration of Brian Michael Bendis' lore building. Please, please don't lie on me. Especially when there's such a disgraceful lie. Does everyone have fake names and real names? But the fake names are the ones used in the game. <laughs> You see, Jed is a big fan of him aging up the boys. Nah, then this needs to chill with this changes that he's making to DC. For no reason! For no reason! This case for Brian Michael Bendis' changes to DC continuity has empowered me to now 
beats the fuck out of this bitch who before was like killing the shit out of me. But who now is about to get clowned. There you go. Clap the cheeks. Now, she had to be the last fucking bitch that you gotta fight. Who, who you gonna fight next? God? Hey, who's about to show up? Yep, you did lose. Yeah, I sure did. Mm -hmm. I'm the champion, that's right. Mm -hmm. Yep, I got that arrow. Let me take it back to the master. Yeah, go home. Go home, go home. Hurry the fuck up. Yeah, I know I did. I'm a fucking boss. Yeah, I did. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you for complimenting me. Yep, mm -hmm. you're the king of the world now. Uh, you're gonna reward me. Okay, what reward am I getting? What am I reward? Okay, what am I getting? Yeah, just tell me what, what am I getting? What's the reward? Okay. So they're chilling out at the beach. So it's like, I get a vacation, but I want my boss to come on my vacation with me. Kind of thing. Okay. There you go. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I've now beaten this game with like four characters. Shit. Okay, so I beat it with her, and I beat it with her, and I beat it with her, and I beat it with her. So there's this one bitch with a lightning rod that looks really cool. So I'm gonna beat it with her real quick. Uh, and then do AI Dungeon 2 is the goal. Yeah, go on that quest. Yeah, I'm going on a quest. Yeah, I'm going on a quest. I'm gonna beat niggas' asses for no reason. Uh, she's like, you can't go on the quest. Oh, and she's upset. She's like, you're saying I'm weak? You're on a quest like for strong people, but you don't consider me strong? Let's see. She's like, sure. I'll defeat all three of you before I go. Oh, shit. Okay. She's a fucking savage. I like her character already. Um, Ryan said, AI Dungeon New. AI Dungeon New. Okay. Get in. Be badass. I'm ready. Oh, wow. It's the bitch I just fought. She's the first fight of this one. That's a good cool move. Oh, so wait, hold up. That's her base heavy attack? How'd I do her? She did a thing that was like a barrage. So that's her quarter circle forward. It doesn't have that big of a range. I think it looks more intimidating than it actually is. Oh gosh, that shit is amazing. Ah, uh, okay. I'm gonna like that. I'm gonna like that a lot. 
the rapid steps. She kind of reminds me of Aquaman in Injustice. He has like a move that's kind of like She's the Swiss cheese player. You're gonna be this game's chun This game's Wolverine. Because you said you're leaving to go fight strong people, so you don't think anybody here is strong. And then she gets her ass whooped, and then she calls back. Okay. I haven't seen a lot of Bacha. Bitch, please, I got Swiss cheese. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Nobody pulls me in a corner. I don't know how you get the third symbol for me. The other bitch was fat. That bitch is tiny. What is she gonna is she gonna call her ugly? Is she gonna beat her up and go, oh you're ugly? No, Maybe she'll call her. Oh. Oh. How do you chain more than those two into each other? I've been doing it, but I don't remember how I've been doing it. It's like do you forward triangle into forward triangle into forward X? So you gotta go bound, bound, bound. How do you get the last one? <gasps> you forward X again, don't you? No? It's not another forward X? Then how the fuck do you get it? I'm trying to figure out how you get that third symbol. Oh, that was a perfect? Your seriousness is your flaw. She had to insult everybody. Everybody in the free to insult. Hey, look, it's the girl I just played forever. Watch her do moves that I never demonstrated my whole time playing as her. Ah. 
Oh. Okay, we're taking L's now, I see. When you start letting us take L's. So strong. I'm gonna deal you hella damage. Even without going for my real thing. I don't think it's called a real thing. The big combo spider thing. Whoa, combo ending. I really enjoy you. GG ya. GG GG ya. Are you captivated by my elegant techniques? Okay. I rarely see the ninja yet. She has hella She has a really good color scheme too. She's another one of the ninja characters. And her mist gimmick is like a good idea. Don't let her fuck you up. She's like, actually, wow. She got me all the All the way. Dang it. Yeah, I'm hella dead. 
See, those moves are so good because if you get hit by them, it like completely like limps your opponent, and then you can go into like combo and so you can be like big boy carrying. Send me back to the character select screen. <sighs> At some point, I'll play Mist Witch. Because she, she does seem like she has like an interesting ability to let her just dodge shit. She's doing like the ninja substitute or whatever. Ryan, what do you think of this to do? She missed it into her Wageki. の関連新兵隊の証であ Hoigeki into Hoigeki into Hoigeki into Hoigeki. I just realized that she has the spear equivalent to a spray and pray strategy. <laughs> so she just looks away <laughs> and she just goes, <laughs> whatever's behind me, I'm just gonna stab into it repeatedly as fast as I can. <laughs> like, that's her strategy. That's kind of funny to think of it. Oh, my God. 
I only... I didn't even deal 50% of her bar, I don't think. That is what she said when I played as her in the game. That is really weird. <laughs> the like gauntlet fist fighting character is all about like spicy foods. That's like her big thing. I do like that the Thunder uh, Staff girl is essentially like, yeah, all my friends are kind of weak. I'm out here looking for strong fighters. I'm gonna beat all my friends' ass. And then I'm gonna go on a trip when I go beat a bunch of strangers and then I beat all the strangers' ass. Wait a minute. Fuck, I whiffed. I whiffed in a place in a room. Also, I think your launcher kick is the third launcher, and it's the shit that you never use. You need to figure out how the fuck to do the launcher kick. What was that? That's your normal shit. No, oh fuck. Figure out. Figure out your launcher kick. What is it? Did it along with It's fine if they take you back to the character like screen. Oh, the flame pillar is like a combo or something? Fuck. Uh, if I can't figure out the launch or kick, then my arsenal is flawed. Okay. That's her yellow color. Let me see if she has a move that's down, down. That's kind of interesting. Also, one of her moves is a quarter circle and a half circle back. The fuck is her down down move? Holy shit. Oh, she did the three, she did all three of the fucking thing. I did mine! How the fuck am I doing that? What is it? I did my launcher for Geki. How do you use that one? How do you use the down down move? Because now whenever I do it, I just charge up energy, but I don't actually like spring up into the air. Do, do they have to be really close to me for me to get that? Oh, 
yeah, shit. It's like... It's like a diagonal down in the up motion or something. My main thing is that it feels kind of awkward. I need to figure out how to do that. Like normal. It feels like a... Like a zoom, I think. Get me back to the character screen. Huh. Yep. Teach me how to launch her. Teach me, teach me how to launch her. What? Teach me how to launch her. Spike seems to catch the AI pretty well. Okay. We're out here low spike. Oh, 
She's looking for a worthy opponent. Scythe girl is very cocky, so these two are probably go She got me with the trap holes to see. Yeah. <laughs> 
Goodness, the sliver. Sliver, it's not the sliver. に出てみたものを私を倒すほどいやはやせいちゃん油してそんなこと言っているそうなのかよかろう最強と歌われるお主と戦えるならばこうしてみてはうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうん
Okay, so she's like, I beat the strongest person in the world, so I might as well go back. She's like, oh, it's winter time now. さあ、<笑> So I guess all those end images that you get after you like beat it, like after you beat like the story mode, are probably all in the gallery, now that I think about it. That's probably what the gallery is for. Also, I haven't really sat through these credits. Uh, but the credits actually do look kind of cool. It's like a 3D animated like presentation. <laughs> but yeah, I'm probably gonna end it here. I originally was gonna try and do an AI Dungeon 2 video, uh, but I wanted to play through uh, this game with the characters that look the most interesting to play as. The sword people don't look that interesting. She was definitely cool. Too. She's like the only like brawler. Like she's I think it's really interesting that they have like all these like 3D animated like cutscenes. But they really only like look super cool when they like freeze. Except for maybe her. I'd say she's like the opposite. It's like the like stills that they have that are like the really like, well made. Like, 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 like. I could have sworn I just saw some characters I don't have. Okay, and that's that's the whole game. I mean, it's interesting to say that's the whole game. There are characters that I didn't play as, but they were characters that I had fought during the game that I didn't think were that interesting. So yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button, favorite, comment, subscribe, and ding, 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 ring the notification bell to be notified when we do these videos. Your trend, your boy, Jet Black, the one only, logging out. Peace, guys. Check it out.